GIA Automotive doing a video on a 2000 Plymouth Voyager with the 3.3 liter in it. Um, real quick, I just want to show you the procedure you're going to need to do uh, in order to remove this uh, intake manifold. And uh, the reason for me to be doing this job is to uh, get to these valve cover gaskets. Um, as you can see, it was leaking all on this uh, manifold here at the bottom. And in order to get to these gaskets, you got to remove that intake. And um, once you remove that intake, um, you don't have to remove the fuel rail, but you do have to unbolt it just to get enough wiggle room out to get this um, gasket, this um, to get to the gasket. To remove this valve cover, you have to um, sneak it up from underneath. Um, unless you were doing the lower intake, then you would have to remove the the um, fuel rail. So um, yeah, there it is. Here's the backside. So once we remove all the intake, um, I told her let's do the tune-up. Um, she needed an alternator so now is the time to do the alternator um, you're gonna need to remove the throttle cable you're gonna need to remove the all the plugs that that connect to the intake the throttle assembly um, this EGR pipe down here at the bottom um, there's gonna be two bolts in the back of the intake that are held on by 10 millimeters here um, you'll be able to see them once you loosen everything up that harness will be stuck back there there's a clip here for this um, oxygen sensor that's going to be back there too um, 15 13 millimeter 8 millimeter 5 16s are all the um, tools you're going to need um, yeah as you can see I also removed this um, the wiper assembly with the shroud all together to be able to see everything um, you're able to get to everything a lot better that way um, all right 25 years of experience give me a call you got any business for me 708-699-8887 PayPal account is set up for information over the phone if you need any advice I can help you out with that also um, thank you for watching and have a blessed day